I'm Dr. James Hill. I am a speaker in the opening session of the EPI NPAM uh, meeting in 2014. And my topic was obesity. So I was given 20 minutes to cover the last 50 years and then to talk about where we go in the future. So unfortunately, the last 50 years is not a success story. So what I showed was rates of obesity going up and up and up over the last 50 years. Trying to look at what we've learned about that. And I think uh, the essence of what we've learned is that we started out looking at obesity as a problem in physiology. There was something that was wrong and we wanted to fix it. What I think we've learned is that the physiology is working just fine. What we need to fix is the environment. We've created over the last 50 years an environment where food is plentiful. It tastes very good, it's served in large portions, and it's inexpensive. So our biology basically says eat when food's available, and we do. We've created an environment where we never have to be physically active. And our biology says rest when you don't have to be physically active. So we have an environment that pushes us to eat and rest, and therein lies the problem. So in moving forward, the challenge really is to find the why. Why do people want to change that? So we talk about this environment with good tasting food and big screen TV and automobiles and most people aren't lining up to say, hey, take those away. They like them. And so how do we, how do we tweak the environment so that we have the things we like and yet obesity is low? And so one of the ways that I look at it, it's supply and demand. You can't make healthy options if they're not available, so we need to continue to do that. But we really need some work on the demand side. Why? Where's the demand for healthy options? And I think to do that, we have to look at how we value health in the present. Right now, it's make these good choices and 20 years later, you won't get heart disease or diabetes. That's not very powerful in the moment. If we change our paradigm and look at health not as the output, that's the way we've done it. Health is a result of everything else we do. Good health now becomes the input. It's the fuel for prosperity. It allows us as an individual, as a family, as a community, or a population to achieve what we want to achieve. In other words, it's the good fuel that allows us to do what we want to do. So where do we start? I think we start in places like schools and work sites where we relate good health to performance. It's not about health care costs. It's about healthy employees doing better for the bottom line. It's not about kids being healthy as much as healthy kids learn better, so kids are learning better. So I think we start in schools and work sites. It branches out to the community, and we have to continue to provide healthy choices. We have to work hard to figure out reasons to get people to choose those healthy choices.